We are working on rational expressions. In the last video, we did simplifying rational expressions. In this video, we're going to be working on how to multiply rational expressions. Now, multiplication is just an extension of simplification. So let's review the steps of simplifying rational expressions. And we had two very simple steps. We need to factor both the numerator and the denominator individually because that puts it in multiplication form. And when our factors are multiplied, then we can cancel any factors that are identical. So if we want to multiply two of these rational expressions, our steps are exactly the same, except for we have an additional third step. We again need to factor both the numerator and denominator separately. But here I'm going to have two or more fractions that I need to do that in. So there's more factoring involved. But same rules apply. I cancel any identical factors. And it doesn't matter as long as it's in one numerator and one denominator. So they can be directly stacked on top of each other, or they can be across from each other. And our last step is to multiply straight across. So this step here is the really only new step that we have, and it's a very simple short step. So this is a perfect extension of simplifying rational expressions. I have an example of this here. Before I do it, I suggest that you pause the video and see if you can do it on your own. Okay, same steps as simplification. I need to factor everything. So let's start with the top left of my fraction. This is a monomial. It only has one term. So I actually cannot factor it. I'm just going to copy it down to my next step. Switching focus to my denominator. Um, it looks to be in okay order, but it also looks like I have a common factor. It looks like my common factor is x and a y. So let me factor those out. That leaves me with an x from a first piece and a 3 from my second piece. That is factored completely. So now let's move to the top here. It's in descending order. I have no common factor. I have three terms, which means it's a trinomial that I factor by working my FOIL process backwards. x times x gives me x squared. 3 times 3 multiplies to give me 9. But when I do my outside and my inside, it will also add to give me my 6x in the middle, if both of these are positive. Now, each of my individual parentheses are factored completely because I only have two terms, and neither one of them are squares nor cubes. But I really can condense this into x plus 3 quantity squared. Now, I might do that and I might not. It depends on what happens in the next step. And bear with me, I'll explain that in a minute. In the bottom, I have two terms, but I always start with common factor. And it looks like I have a common factor of 4. If I take that out, I'm left with x plus 3. So at this time, I focus on what I have here. Now, I have mostly factored. The only thing that I haven't done is officially condensed it here, and I will if I need to. So that moves to my next step of cancel. And I can cancel any identical factors as long as it's between the numerator and the denominator. So if I look at this, I have an x plus 3 here, and I can cancel it with an x plus 3 here. Also notice I have a second x plus 3, which I can cancel with this x plus 3. So as long as it is in any numerator and denominator, it can be directly on top of each other, or in separate fractions, they can cancel. You can only do it one at a time. So let's see what I have left at this time. On the top, all I have left is a 2xy. And on the bottom, I have xy times 4, so that leaves me with a 4xy. Now, let me go back to did I condense it? 
And the reason that I didn't condense it is because both of them ended up canceling out. If they didn't, then I would put this in my next step. All right, looking at what I have left, double checking to make sure that I have canceled everything, and I actually have not. Notice that this is still all in multiplication form. So I can cancel these X's, and I can cancel these Y's, and I can reduce my 2 over 4. Just divide both of them by 2. So on the top, 2 divided by itself gives me 1, and in the bottom, 4 divided by itself gives me 2. So my most simplified answer in this rational expression multiplication problem is 1 half. So that is all we needed to cover to finish up multiplication of rational expressions.